three, four. Ooh, it feels weird. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. My eye just twitched. That was weird. It's literally like, do you guys ever have that where your eye just like, so weird? Anyways, <laughs> my favorite week of the day. I work on the weekends. That's where I'm the busiest, but I still love it because it's just that Friday feeling. Today, we are testing out the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I actually got an ad on this foundation on my Instagram, and I was like, oh, that looks so good. And the description... Are you guys ready? This is a great description. From sheer to full, your ideal coverage is just drops away with the NYX Professional Makeup Total Control Drop Foundation. Fine tune this velvety matte liquid dropper foundation with the included drop dropper. 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 Drop it low. <laughs> dropper. So it's really, really liquidy. So I'm excited to see how the coverage will be, how it will lay on the skin, if it's gonna feel lightweight. Love a foundation that's really great in coverage and buildable, but feels lightweight on the skin. Like, ooh, am I wearing foundation? Am I not wearing foundation? I don't feel it, you know? That's the best. Recommends using their foundation brush, but we're just gonna use a brush that I like. I never usually buy the brushes that, you know, they recommend with the foundation because I already have plenty of brushes. Also says that this product is a best seller. It's a pro pick and it's vegan if you're into that kind of thing. It comes in 26 shades, which looks like a pretty decent shade range to me. But I don't know. I feel like you can always have more shades. It's so hard to say. Sometimes if you can't get your exact color match, you can just mix two different ones to get your exact match or as close as possible it does retail for 14 dollars i'm so hot oh my gosh i'm sweating <sighs> it's been blazing hot in la i'm over this this summer was not a hot girl summer for me so i'm over summer i'm ready for fall <laughs> i'm ready for winter i'm just i'm over it and it's so hot in here that I need this AC to go, but the AC makes such a loud noise. It's so annoying. Oh, this is actually under one fluid ounce, which is the typical standard for a foundation. This is 0 0.43 fluid ounces. I don't think I've ever come across a foundation that was less than one ounce. So you're getting less product. I don't like that. My battery just died. <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys what my face currently basically looks like. This is just, you know, I'm on my iPhone. Uh, but this is the state my skin is now. If you have acne, then you know there's so many ups and downs. My skin goes from being somewhat okay. It's never good, but it's like somewhat okay and not so irritated and inflamed to being super irritated, super inflamed. Right now, it's about to be that time of the month. So, of course, I get so much more breakouts along here. You know, the hormonal kind. And then I got a few active ones right here, too. This one was like a triple head breakout. It was massive. And you could see, I mean. So, basically, there's plenty to cover and see how well this foundation covers. I go through phases where I want something that's really, really light coverage and just evens out my skin tone and I don't even care if my acne is peeking through to wanting something that's really, really full coverage. So I do like a foundation that can give me both so that I can just adjust it. And usually you want a foundation that's really full coverage because you could always share it out. Yeah. I think my other battery is charged now, so I'm gonna go grab that. <laughs> And we're back. Luckily, I have a few spare batteries. I think I'm gonna start off with a brush only because I have a feeling that this will work better with a brush because it's so liquidy and I wanna like really buff it in. I've also just been loving using a brush. I love a sponge, I'll forever love a sponge. You know, it's, it's like so good. But sometimes it's just so nice to go in with a brush. This is the It Cosmetics brush, the foundation number 101. I don't even know how i'm gonna put like because it's so liquidy you see that you see that so 
putting it on the back of my hand it's just gonna drip all the way down but then putting it on the brush feels so wrong should I just still put it or should I just drip it on my face we're gonna drip it on the face all right it looks like it's gonna be dark but then my face is much lighter than my body so I'm I don't know hopefully it's a good match oh my how many that's two three four four drops is that good I don't know Ooh, it feels weird it feels like a serum dripping down <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh this feels like a serum it's like so silky and smooth on the skin piece of hair whoops okay so that was super sheer super super sheer and definitely not enough oh should i try putting it on the back of my hand look how watery that is though ah it's dripping down it's dripping down oh my gosh i just like literally flicked it as i put my brush in it i flicked it it's on my phone and stuff now little droplets okay gotta be careful gotta be careful with it so i'm just gonna do one side with the brush and then i'll try out the other side with the sponge but wow it feels like i'm not putting anything on my face honestly this is kind of weird it's like so light and serum like it just feels like it seriously feels just like a serum i would say that this is like a light to medium coverage right Ooh, it looks so pretty though you could still see the redness kind of peeking through but it looks super soft and natural this right here is just a dried up little zit there that I'm not gonna rip it off because if I rip it off it's gonna be an owie and then I won't be able to cover it not bad of a shade match should we go ahead and do the sponge so I'm just gonna drop a few more on the back of my hand uh, it you have to be so careful because it will spill look it just soaked right in there let's see oh my gosh Wait, what? Why is this laying even better with a... You see? I'm telling you, it's deceiving. Sometimes you think a foundation will be better with a brush and then all of a sudden it's better with a sponge. This is totally the case. It went on way more full coverage with the sponge and it almost is laying way more evenly with the sponge too than, than the brush. look that's one layer it's super sheer and you could still see everything coming through but it looks so nice on the skin it's super natural i'm excited to see how well this builds up i'm gonna go in with a second layer i do feel like i'm using quite a bit of drops i, I don't know this is the dose of colors sponge that i'm using by the way what i typically do when i want a little extra coverage is i'll place the foundation where i want it and i just kind of leave it there and i let it set for a few seconds it, it kind of varies with every foundation it's kind of different some foundations need to set a little longer then i'll just go in and i'll tap it out so it blends nicely but it won't take away from the coverage and it won't create like a full-on second layer it'll kind of stay more concentrated coverage wise in that specific area that i put the foundation on if that makes sense you know what i mean whatever's left on the back of my hand i'm just gonna grab it with the brush and just blend it down my neck this is actually this is a good match this is a good match i like this i am so impressed it's just so natural looking it has kind of like a natural very skin like satin finish i would say and even though you can still see i could probably add a little more coverage but i won't only because i don't mind that you could still see a little bit of the acne peeking through it looks so natural on the skin it, it just literally looks like my skin 
but more even toned. It's beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys up close. I mean, how nice is this? What? I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. I need to put on that sleeve because your girl's sweating. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Hi. It's already been almost three hours. I haven't put on a mask yet. It's just looking so skin-like, so fresh, so good. Obsessed with how soft and natural it looks on the skin. All right, I did a Costco run an hour later. I didn't even get that much stuff, you guys, but Costco's so huge and running around oh my goodness i got so sweaty i did wear a mask i wear a cloth mask though nothing really rubbed off much it looks pretty dang good to me so yeah it's been a total of four hours everything's looking great oh my gosh i'm sweating right here for sure sweaty sweaty is what quick check-in it's been so i put on the foundation at two o'clock i forgot to show you guys and it's seven o'clock now. So it's been five hours and this is what it's looking like. I went to two different stores. I put on a mask on and off twice and I do wear a cloth mask. So it's not as harsh as like the medical masks. So far, honestly, so good. It's not rubbed off very much. It got a little oily right in here. I tend to get super creasy around my crease line or my nose creases because like they're so deep in there that it just creases any foundation in there it's not happening too bad though and then right here around my hairline where i was sweating because it was so hot it definitely rubbed off you can kind of see a little line but nothing a little bit of blending like this can't fix i'll be back <laughs> and it's the end of the night <laughs> almost nine hours since i've had this foundation on so i thought this is good enough I feel like I have, my mind is made up because, wow. I definitely got a little bit like oily in the T-zone here, you could see, but I really like it. I like when the oils kind of kick in. If they get a little bit too much for me, I usually don't even put powder. I'll just take like a tissue or even the back of my hand. I know this kind of gross, but I take the back of my hand and I'll just dab a little bit in the center just to get rid of a little bit of that oiliness this foundation is honestly up there with my favorite drugstore foundations okay this is so good it's so lightweight it literally feels like your skin it feels like you're not wearing anything on your skin it's absolutely unbelievable it feels like a serum it feels like skincare it's so workable and blendable and easy to just kind of touch up. I didn't set it as well, so I think that's what made it easier to touch up on the go. But it's beautiful. It's it's literally beautiful. It wore beautifully. Definitely check this foundation out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for future videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.